Dividing an empire makes it weaker, believe it or not. Constantine wasn't serving Rome, but his Jewish masters. And if you think otherwise, you're an idiot. Because he obviously wasn't serving Rome. He abandoned Rome. <laughs> History isn't on your side. People who deny this narrative, I am promoting. Constantine won his battles thanks to Jewish support. He unified the empire just to divide it. What a joke. And how did he, you know, why am I saying that he won because of Jewish support? It's because Jews, as has been established in part two, and in other series, like the Islam was invented by Jews series, Jews were everywhere, and they had money, and they had connections, and they had the agenda. Unity is weakness. Division is strength. Not, I fool them. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, said and says Jesus. Voila. Remember last time they said that Rome was far from the frontier. I mean, sort of. It would take a long time to travel, but if you look at Constantinople, it's pretty far from most of the barbarians who are over here. The Talmud unmasked the secret rabbinical teachings concerning nominal Christians by some heretic from the Roman Catholic Church. So they say that Jesus' name and memory should be blotted out and they say that non-Jews are animals in the form of human beings created to serve, created to be slaves for Jews. So that the term akum means idolater or similar. And to, to the Jews who reject Jesus, they believe that Christians are idolaters because the heretics are idolaters. They know that they worship Mary, it's obvious. Only a fool would deny that. But they conflate because not all nominal Christians are idolaters. Real Christians like me do not bow to Mary. We do not bow to any image nor associate it with God. I no longer use the cross in my room. I took that down. The cross is an image that is forbidden in the Bible to have any image to bow down to or associate with God. So supposedly he saw this vision in heaven. But look at this. Why is he doing that sign implied? In hoc signo winkes. In this sign conquer. Or by the sign. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six. That reminds me of the hexagon. I think that's what it's called, right? One hexa, hex six, gone points, six points at star. One, two, three, yeah, that should be it. So that's the tree of life in the Kabbalah, the Jewish mysticism crap. One, two, three. One, two, three. A post and an X crossing it. You got the same thing going on here. What a coincidence! And then that star with the cube is connected because the hexagon in the center of the star. When, what is this? Oh, the hexagon is the sides. This is the hexa, hexagram, my bad. Hexagram is the star of David, so called. And the, the hexagon is the one inside it. One, two, three, four, five, six, which implies the cube because from an angle, that is a cube on a 2D plane, and there you go. Remember from other videos of mine, there's the signal in here, when the post with the X across it, post with the X across it. Don't let this uh, pull the wool over your eyes, that's just a distraction. 
I mean, maybe it has more meaning to it, but this suffices for my video. Male plus female equals that symbol, which the Star of David matches. So it's a combination of male and female, cold and hot, fire and water, up and down. Same pattern. And the eclipse matches that too. Combination male and female. Now the Catholics have this idol, but it's retarded to depict Jesus at all because the Bible forbids it, and it's retarded to depict him with long hair because the Bible says if a man has long hair, that is shameful. The reason for the long hair is to show a combination of male and female, male and female, beard, yet long hair like a woman. Baphomet has breasts like a woman and also phallus like a man. A combination of opposites and one representing perfection for representing the Antichrist said to be the perfect being. And the cube implies Saturn because it has a hexagon on it which is a cube from an angle. This looks like CGI but whatever. So Saturn is a symbol for a, a devil, the chief of the pantheon for a certain aeon, hence Satan, that is obviously a demonic being. It's not a, an angel of God, it's an unholy angel. So Constantine was just a pawn of Satan. Constantine was a puppet of the synagogue of Satan. Later would come the great schism between the Catholics and the so-called Orthodox. Last I checked, Orthodox means correct teaching. No, you don't have the correct teaching. You're merry worshiping heretics. You're frauds. The Protestants were uh, Martin Luther and so forth. They were agents of the Jews, just like Constantine. The Jews were very rich uh, because they controlled a lot of the trade. I covered that in, in another series. So you were just a puppet, Martin Luther, and he was very anti-Jewish in his propaganda. Yet, oh look, it's Hitler, and you know, yet that was just an act. And if he did ha have actions against Jews, it was against low-ranking Jews, not his masters, the high-ranking Jews who, as has been covered before, persecuted their own people to hide their tracks, consistent with their belief that it is better for one man to die than that the nation perish. 